Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another Super Tease video. And in this one, we've got a Season of Discovery update. There have been some class changes to level 25 gameplay when it comes to hunters and rogues that you really should know about. And there are going to be incoming changes to the World PvP Ashen Vale event. I have been dabbling in the Season of Discovery. I hit level 25. I've been doing some Warsong Gulch, which honestly is probably my favorite thing to do at the moment. I was honestly disappointed with the Ashen Vale pvp event it seemingly is just sit with a large raid group afk and wait for the boss to spawn and hope you kill him fast enough to get your rep which might bug out and not give you enough rep and it's just a bunch of really slow walking turning in your quest is really difficult walk backs from the graveyard are really long it's kind of just been frustrating so i'm really hoping in this update that those frustrations can be solved because of course this is level 25 the classes aren't fully fleshed out as they would be at even 40 50 and then obviously 60 so i think the potential is still there and hopefully based on the feedback that we're providing towards this content that the experiences that they're going to be delivering throughout that content phasing whether it's a world pvp zone at level 40 means that they can learn from the lessons of this one to try and keep players engaged and enjoying the content but now looking specifically at what is going on specifically for hunters they are targeting your scorpid poison now this is a poison that is stacked up from your pet uh, that was just doing a ridiculous amount of damage so basically through all of the changes the Scorpid Poison is going to be doing less damage. Now, in multi-target situations, it's probably still going to be best. You just get one stack of the poison per target. So in dungeon runs, for example, uh, on trash pulls. Uh, but on the boss, you may want to switch your pet out for a Wind Serpent for more single target damage. So it really just depends on, on what you're doing. I think in PvP, you'll probably still run the Scorpid Poison Sting. It's just nice as a debuff cover. It's nice for damage over time uh, in case your pet gets kited. So while it is getting nerfed, I... I Hunter is so powerful that I really don't think it's going to be a big deal. And then Aspect of the Lion is now not going to randomly be buffing people not in the group, which is honestly a nerf to everybody that's just like questing in the world because you were randomly getting the stat buff if a Hunter happened to be around. So a little bit disappointing there. But what I really like so far as far as the class changes is how transparent they are. The, um, they've been on Twitter constantly posting about what is going on, explaining, hey, this didn't work out this way or this was unintended and just being 100% transparent and like, say, hey, we're jumping on this. We're going to try and make this better. Um, I really feel like that hands-on engagement uh, is really healthy and good for the game so hopefully not there aren't people sending them hate or something their way because if they can maintain this and continue it pushing it forward I think it's going to make for an even better experience into the future while I might be you know initially a little bit bitter uh, towards especially things like the world pvp event now rogues are also being changed this is going to be a huge buff for you Basically, Deadly Brew Rune wasn't stacking if there was multiple rogues, uh, and neither was Saber Slash's damage. And Rogue at this level wasn't doing that great. You weren't, you know, especially when it comes to PvP. PvE, you might probably doing a bit better, but this is just gonna be a buff overall because now you can bring multiple rogues without it backfiring on you. And in PvP, this means multiple rogues can get their stacks of their debuffs, which pretty much every rogue I have been seeing has been playing Saber Slash at least when it comes to PvP. So a nice quality of change, even though technically this was performing the way that debuffs are supposed to perform with one stack um, per player. Blizzard decided, no, we're going to implement the retail rules to this, so that way you're not discouraged from bringing multiple rogues, or your raid group isn't going to be hindered by bringing in multiple rogues, or your BG group if you get multiple rogues. So I think that that was a nice quality of life change um, and quick adaptation to the moment, uh, but if anybody else is like hardcore onto the classic end of this and you disagree, let me know in the comments down below. And finally, the biggest one, the most important one, um, is is Josh Greenfield here who has been you know really interactive with the community an adjustment is coming for the Ashenvale PvP event very soon let's just say it might not be as advise not be advisable any longer to zerg the faction leaders as the event is starting here's a list of other things on our radar that we'd like to look at in the coming days so you know, I, I was really hoping that this world PvP event was going to be more about like skirmishes players would be spread out at different objectives because originally it was like different bases outlined all across the map and like you'd be fighting for control over these or something like that and then it just didn't. It just either ended up being streamers lagging out the servers, dogpiling 300 people on top of 300 people, or everybody not even PvPing AFK waiting for the bosses to spawn to get their reps. So I'm really hoping with these changes that we're about to cover that something can be done to you know in enhance the experience of this zone. Specifically, it seems the changes are coming as a direct result of players not completing the activity as intended. Many have been skipping over the transitional objectives to head straight for the boss to burn it down. Though he didn't specify how, Greenfield confirmed the upcoming changes would render this tactic inadvisable advisable 
which might be a euphemism for you're not going to be able to do it anymore. Additionally, he provided confirmation that the development team would be looking at the following in the coming days, graveyard locations and time to get back in the fight. That's really important. I know a lot of people are like, oh, the classic experience is walking around a lot. But like in this world, PvP zone, I really feel like, you know, if you're spending the half the event walking back to your body because you died once and you missed the event because of it, that's that's pretty poopy, man. Like, I, I really think that that should be changed. Rep rewards not consistently going out. This has to be changed because not only was I confused, frustrated, and, and bored from sitting there waiting for the boss to spawn, when the boss gave me 15 rep instead of 500, it was like, this is really this is really irritating. So hopefully this gets fixed. Layer issues, layer hopping, getting layered from acti active events. I really hope they deny the layering. I don't like people like abusing layers and jumping and easy farming the rep. That just seems really cheesy, and it's not in the spirit of the event, which is supposed to be PvP. Um, or layering away from something that might be frustrating to just speed your speed your rep up. I, I really want this to be kind of like a, an actual PvP zone uh, where the PvP is also rewarded. Um, so hopefully the rewards from it will also be better because the health helmet with like a crit reduction war song is not really that great the mount is nice but it's like you feel like you should just have the mount without having to farm the mount so i, I would really rather the mount just be available right away or something when you go into the zone um and we get some other gear rewards that are like more comparable to what is coming out of the raid um so that you feel like your time in this area is going to feel rewarded and it's more focused around pvp the frequency of the event is also important because you can't turn in the quest for the rep if the event isn't live so if you can't manage to like get the quest on item and then be in the right spot because it's like a bonfire camp in the middle of nowhere next to no flight paths so they should maybe really consider adding a flight path there i don't know if that's in their development um capabilities with with how they're doing season of discovery but it's really in the middle of nowhere or increase locations for turning in the rep quest or something like that so you're closer to the fight as opposed to just going off into nowhere land uh regardless of whether the changes have desired effect many were quick to commend greenfield for his ongoing clarity and communicating the development team's plan in response to the tweet one said love the constant communication going out mvp keep up the good work loving every minute of sod so far season of discovery has proved to be a huge success for blizzard so far drawing in new players and persuading older fans to return to the fray whether they can keep this momentum going into later phases remains to be seen and that's why i say like if they can maintain this level of uh interactivity and they can hit these changes and have these changes um actually net the correct results for the zone then it can definitely be saved as an experience aside from just kind of afk and farming it so i'm really hoping that they can deliver on that because these were the main things that i was really getting excited for for seasons and discovery and while i'm liking 1v1 honestly dueling is actually probably the most fun thing that you can do um and war song when you're not fighting pre-mates which is also maybe something they should consider um changing is either 10 player pre-mates only queue into other 10 player pre-mates um or just completely, I don't know about disassembling pre-mades because it is fun to just make a group for your friend, but pre-made versus pre-made would be a lot better. And then anyone that's queuing solo or maybe duo solo or something for the battleground uh, will only queue into other players like that because it's just not fun to get graveyard stomped by a 10 stack. Maybe you you, got to, you didn't have anybody on and you just wanted to send one war song. Uh, I, I really don't like the way that that kind of pre-made play has gone out so far. Um, but I'm going to keep giving SOD a chance, um, even despite my you know initial, I was really liking it and then I was kind of disappointed by the event i'm still going to give it a chance the main reason i'm still going to give it a chance is because of this constant communication so um, i hope you guys enjoyed this update if you want to stay up to date with things related to season of discovery and world of warcraft retail solo shuffle pvp tier list everything you know you know what the deal is here on the channel uh, you won't miss a beat if you hit that sub button and your support is greatly appreciated